PDS TV, the best in edutainment. Emergency exit, and I would lift up my red handle, push it out until the buzzer, make sure the buzzer comes on. To my stop arm. And I'm going to check and make sure that it moves freely, that it's properly mounted and secured, not been cracked or broken, no damage. Now, we're in position to perform our VI, which is our vehicle inspection. And I'm going to make sure all my hoses look good, including my steering box hose. I want to make sure they're properly mounted and secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. They're properly and tightly clamped. They're not worn, torn, or frayed. Excuse me, they're not worn, torn, or no cuts. And I want to make sure that there's no damage and no leaks. So at this point, we're doing a left parallel. And when we get off the bus, is to get off the bus and take a look to be sure that your rear bumper is not entering the boundary line. So when I started, you have to go through a week of coursework. So you're sitting there for about anywhere from maybe four to six hours and they're going through numerous slide presentations, a lot of class discussion on uh, some of the regulations about bus driving as far as the state is concerned, as far as the Cap County School District is concerned, uh, going through some um, PowerPoints on first aid, such as the kits we have up here, bodily fluid kits, uh, rules of the road, like I talked about earlier, railroad crossing, student unloading, offloading, uh, so you go through a special education uh, bus driver PowerPoint day. You take, I think I had to take like three written tests. Uh, they talk about your air brakes, all the systems on the bus, the bus, the security systems, as far as the uh, 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 exits at the doors, the windows, and the hatches. You go through everything that you're going to encounter as a bus driver um, on the uh, range, vehicle inspection, onloading, offloading kids, and they just prepare you uh, on what to expect for uh, real life occurrences. 